The angle distance constraint allows for rigid body rotation, which means that a child point will stay at the same uh, angle and distance relative to two parent points. If we look at uh, a point that is constrained normally using a horizontal and vertical constraint, as the parent point moves up and down, the child point below it stays at the same horizontal and same vertical and the shape of the component changes. However, if we want the pavement section to stay the same shape and we want the child component to stay normal or to stay the same shape, we can use the angle distance constraint. To do this, we'll first delete the constraints on the point, and secondly, we will edit the point and add an angle distance constraint. With the addition of an angle distance constraint, there is no constraint to because the angle distance constraint will fully constrain the point in the horizontal and the vertical. When you select a parent one and a parent two, the current angle is measured and we're near minus 270 on that. I'm just going to clean that up and make that an even positive 90. And then my distance is uh, the distance from the first parent point. When I hit apply, I can see that I'm one foot down from the parent point and I'm at a 90 degree angle from uh, the vector from A1 to point A. And I will do that as well for my, my other component here. Delete both constraints and then add back in an angle distance point. This time we'll go from point A to point A1. And we'll make it a even 270. Hit apply and close. Now we can see as I move point A1 and the body rotates, the shape of our component will not change and A2 will stay normal uh, to the vector A1 to A.